Kelly Clarkson, whose ability to sing a wide variety of genres, including classics, rock anthems, and even theme songs, dates all the way back to her days as a contestant on American Idol, once again reminded fans of that ability whenever she performed Metallica's Sad But True during the Kelly Oak segment of Monday's episode of The Kelly Clarkson Show. She managed to put her own spin on the track, treating it as a ballad for the first 45 seconds until she exhibited her incredible vocals as she sang the lyric, Sad But True. Fans have been accustomed to hearing Clarkson cover a song, and she managed to put her own touch on the track after she achieved this. She continued to sing while the hard guitars and bone-shattering drums came in. Her powerful voice was in perfect sync with the thunderous sound of her band, and the lights splashed across the stage, giving the impression that she is truly the starring act for a heavy metal performance. This song is taken from Metallica's self-titled album, which was released in 1991 and is more frequently referred to as The Black Album. This song was the fifth and final single to be released from the album, which also included the hit songs Enter Sandman, The Unforgiven, and Nothing Else Matters. This song made it all the way up to the 15th spot on the Billboard Mainstream Rock Chart. Clarkson, whose ability to sing a wide variety of genres, including classics, rock anthems, and even theme songs, among them, dates all the way back to her days as a contestant on American Idol, once again reminded fans of that ability when she covered Metallica's Sad But True during the Kelly Oak portion of her talk show on May 6. She managed to put her own spin on the track, treating it as a ballad for the first 45 seconds until she exhibited her incredible vocals as she sang the lyric Sad But True. Fans have been accustomed to hearing Clarkson cover a song, and she managed to put her own touch on the track after she achieved this. She continued to sing while the hard guitars and bone-shattering drums came in. Her powerful voice was in perfect sync with the thunderous sound of her band, and the lights splashed across the stage, giving the impression that she is truly the starring act for a heavy metal performance. Many of Clarkson's followers on YouTube who saw the video expressed their admiration for her, pointing out that she never fails to deliver a performance, regardless of the kind of music she is singing. Examine some of the comments that have been left. This song is taken from Metallica's self-titled album, which was released in 1991 and is more frequently referred to as The Black Album. This song was the fifth and final single to be released from the album, which also included the hit songs Enter Sandman, The Unforgiven, and Nothing Else Matters. This song made it all the way up to the 15th spot on the Billboard Mainstream Rock Chart. In the annals of music history, there are very few voices that are as strong and diverse as Kelly Clarkson's voice. With her remarkable vocal prowess, Clarkson has captivated listeners all over the world with her ability to sing a wide range of songs, from deep ballads to pop smashes. In recent times, however, the music industry was jolted to its very foundations when Clarkson ventured into the realm of metal music, and to the shock of both fans and reviewers, her rendition of a classic Metallica song left no doubt that her voice was certainly destined to be used in the metal genre. The day that everything started was one that appeared to be completely normal in the recording studio, where Clarkson was hard at work on her most recent album. It was when she was singing the lyrics to one of her own songs that she felt a spark of inspiration kindle inside her, prompting her to venture into uncharted terrain in the world of music. When Clarkson turned to her comrades, she did so with a devious grin on her lips and a naughty gleam in her eye. She then suggested a proposal that was unprecedented. They should cover a song by Metallica. The suggestion was initially regarded with skepticism and uncertainty from those who heard it. Metallica, with their rumbling guitars and raw fury, appeared to be a completely different stylistic approach than Clarkson's Hallmark style. However, as they began to play about with the concept, playing with various arrangements and tempos, they came to the realization that the combination of Clarkson's powerful vocals and Metallica's legendary sound has a truly enchanted quality. The song that they decided to go with was none other than Enter Sandman, a heavy metal hymn that had become associated with the genre itself.
As soon as Clarkson said the first thrilling lyrics, it became immediately apparent that something exceptional was taking place right in front of their very ears. Her ordinarily sweet and soulful voice took on an unexpected intensity, connecting with a raw strength that sent shivers down the spine. Her voice was typically sweet and soulful. The studio resonated with the thunderous roar of guitars and the beating of drums as Clarkson unleashed her inner metalhead. This resulted in the creation of a musical environment that was as exhilarating as it was surprising. Clarkson immersed herself more deeply into the core of the song with each stanza, embracing the angst and aggression of Metallica's original performance while also injecting it with her own distinctive style. The moment the recording was completely finished, Clarkson and the other members of her band realized that they had discovered something absolutely rare and remarkable. Nevertheless, it wasn't until they unveiled the cover to the entire world that they understood the magnitude of the impact that it would generate. Fans and journalists alike were blown away by Clarkson's performance of Enter Sandman, applauding her for giving a classic song a new lease on life and demonstrating beyond a reasonable doubt that her voice was destined to be used in the production of metal music. Clarkson received an outpouring of adulation on social media, with fans praising her as the queen of metal and describing her performance as nothing short of legendary. Clarkson's rendition of Metallica's song was so impressive that the band itself took notice of it and expressed their deepest gratitude to her for it. On the other hand, arguably the most satisfying response came from Clarkson herself. She had recently acquired a renewed passion for metal music and the freedom that it allowed her as an artist. Clarkson's rendition of Enter Sandman was intended to be more than just a musical experiment. Rather, it was a bold assertion of her limitless creativity and her determination to break the borders of genre and convention. Clarkson couldn't help but smile as she thought of the road that was still to come as she reflected on the event that she had just gone through. With her voice serving as her compass and her passion serving as her guide, it was impossible to predict where her musical journey would take her next. However, there was one thing that was certain. No matter where she went, she would continue to amaze and motivate audiences with her bold personality and her unrestrained skill.